Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next sneak peek video. And this might be the, the most game changing sneak peek yet. Today we're talking about three new things that were just released, um, and then we're gonna have more stuff coming out probably for another few days after this. So be sure to check out my last videos and what's already came out as well as uh, my next videos in the future uh, for the, the next few sneak peeks. But today, uh, three very interesting, um, some people are happy about them, some people aren't, but three interesting changes uh, coming to the game that are gonna affect a wide variety of town hall levels and if you couldn't already tell by the thumbnail, the title, or whatever, we have the bomb tower being added, the witches being adjusted, as well as the hogs and their, and how giant bombs affect them is being changed as well. So we'll go through one by one, starting with the bomb tower that was added. This was in Clash Royale, some of you guys might know. Um, that's kind of think where the idea came from. But at, overall, I like the concept at Town Hall, uh, Town Hall Nine, really. Not as big of a fan of Town Hall 10 or Town Hall 11, but first let's talk about what it is exactly. It has a, a radius of six tiles, so that's to put that in perspective, that's like one less than a Tesla or a Wizard Tower, I believe. So a, a, a very small radius, but um, it doesn't target air troops, it does splash damage. It's like a skeleton tossing a bomb over the side of his tower. Um, think of it like a balloon, except it does much less damage. Uh, it does do splash damage, though, and I think it's supposed to defend against some of the, the mass attacks that we've been seeing at Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11. Um, at, for Town Halls 8 and 9, you get one. Town Hall 10 and 11, you have two bomb towers. And the damage is not that much from what I've seen in some of the, the uh, bigger YouTubers' videos who have had access to actually uh, try it out. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but when it goes down, um, there's a small delay. Then the tower itself blows up, and that does a lot more damage, kind of like a golem. Same concept. When it dies, um, it kind of suicide bombs, I guess you could, you could call it, and it uh, does quite a bit more damage. I uh, still haven't seen how much exactly, but I think um, enough probably to kill a wizard, maybe more. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. The numbers aren't set in stone either, so we'll see the adjustments they make. But it looks like it should be something interesting. I think it's good at Town Hall 9 to help defend bowlers, help defend hogs, which we'll get to, um, help defend other ground troops that are going uh, traveling in numbers, in bunches. So that should be good. And Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, I'm a little bit more skeptical. We have the bowler nerf already. Um, I think it will help to uh, put miners back in their place to a certain extent. Miners aren't really that powerful at Town Hall 10. They're, they're arguably not in need of a of a nerf. Some people say they are, some people don't, because um, it is very difficult to three-star at Town Hall 10 either way, but this should put miners back um, a little bit where the other troops are in terms of the three-star ability, so it should make it a little more difficult to three-star at Town Hall 10, but not not a huge deal. I don't think this is going to be that much of a game change in defense. I think we'll see people put it on the back end of their base where they think people will use miners and other troops like that because they're 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 best when they are going to explode after they get taken out. So if you can time it correctly, um, if you can like have it in the right position so that miners are going through the base as uh and as they encounter the bomb tower, that'll be a lot more effective than having the queen snipe it from a distance because uh, it won't do much value, won't do much good for you in that situation. So yeah, that's the bomb tower. I think overall, it's going to be good for Town Hall uh, 8 and 9. Town Hall 10 and 11, just going to have to suck it up. We have, uh, tr you know, check out my last video. We have troops, uh, new troop levels that should kind of offset some of the, uh, the defensive strength that's added by the bomb tower. But let's get to the uh, hogs next, because that's the big thing. Uh, the hog rider is now, does not receive 1.5 damage from giant bombs. So in the past, for a long, long time, hogs had the 1.5 damage uh, when they got hit by a giant bomb, basically making it so that a double giant bomb set will take out a hog of equivalent town hall level. Now, they don't do that, so Basically, for Town Hall 9, uh, where you have the level 3 Giant Bomb, the level 5 Hogs, Town Hall 10, 
in the 11 where you had the level 4 giant bomb and the level 6 hogs. Now the double giant bomb set won't quite kill a hog. It might have, I think, somewhere between 30 and 50 hit points left over. So it won't quite be dead. And a lot of people are saying this is going to be um, something that's going to make hogs overpowered at Town Hall 9. Um, I think everyone agrees that Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11, just to get that out of the way, it's probably a good thing because we can see some more hogs being used because really we don't see them very much at the high level. But talking about Town Hall 9, I'm going to come out with this statement and typically I'm not as taking a position on most things. I'm typically pretty neutral when the updates come out as far as my opinions, but I don't think this is going to be that big of a deal. And I say that because if you look at a Town Hall 9 attack right now, Hogs aren't hitting giant bombs that much anyway. Uh, we're seeing people, you know, have giant bombs kind of in the middle of their base. Sometimes they're on the outside, but the giant bombs typically aren't the things that are, you know, completely wrecking hogs right now. We're not seeing a whole lot of attacks, at least in my clan, at the kind of the top level where people are, you know, destroying huge groups of hogs with giant with double giant bomb sets. That's what we saw for a while, but attacks have kind of evolved beyond that. And I guess you could argue that okay, now we'll go back to seeing people just use mass hogs. But really, I think that if you just put a few small bombs. That'll still do enough. If you put those next to your, uh, a double giant bomb set, that'll just add enough damage to still take out a hog. So, I mean, you'll still have a double giant bomb set. Plus, if you have wizard towers and stuff in the area, um, unless the hog is at basically full health when it hits that double giant bomb set, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Um, and the hog should be taken out. It, it, I th it'd be pretty rare, I think, because I did the math, I think for Town Hall 10, I think I did, you have, I think it was 35 hit points left over after a, a level 6 hogs, uh, a level six hog hits a max double giant bomb set. So that 35 hit points, that's that's less than the, hit, the damage that a regular small bomb does, less than the damage that a wizard tower does, pretty much anything. Uh, that does any damage at all, targeting those hogs will take them out in that situation. So I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Uh, we see spring traps, we see just regular defenses, the king, we see other things taking out hogs. It's not like, you know, only giant bombs do it. So I do agree it's not the best for Town Hall 9. It's probably going to make hogs a little bit too powerful, um, but it's not going to be as big of a deal as some people are saying. Overall, I'd probably, you know, wish they didn't make this change, but it is what it is, and I think Town Hall 9s are going to have to suck it up. Not going to be too big of a deal, but I'd rather it didn't happen to be, you know, just to be completely honest, I'd rather it not be uh, something in the update, because um, Town Hall 9s, it's kind of not the best change for them, but it's not going to be that big of a deal, and the silver lining is that it will help out Town Hall 10s and Town Hall 11s, adding some other options for the three-star attacks at that level. Uh, finally, we have witches. They now um, might be brought back to a certain extent. They do uh, a little bit more damage. Really, the damage is still neg uh, negligible. Neg yeah, I think that's how you say it. The damage is really not anything to worry about still. Um, they're not in, you're not using them for damage anyway. They have more hit points. They're, instead of being like the hit points of a wizard, they're now closer to like a, a miner. Not quite that many hit, that much hit points, but uh, getting closer. I'm not sure the exact value. I don't think Supercell has said. So witches, you know, a little more hit points, um, a little more DPS. I don't think they spawn any more skeletons. They still don't have their skeletons trigger traps. So I don't think that's going to really bring witches back. They are my favorite troop. So I'd love to see them get brought back. But uh, I don't think this is going to be that big of a deal. I'll see if I can, you know, in, in friendly challenge and stuff, try to make something out of it. But I think just the extra DPS and the extra hit points alone aren't going to be enough to bring back witches. But I like the idea from Supercell at least. So overall, these three things, not the best changes, but I think they're interesting. The bomb tower should add a new dimension to the game. And we'll just kind of see how this turns out because oftentimes they turn out a lot differently uh, than, than you think. I mean, the Lava Hound, I thought that would be useless. And that was so powerful only a few weeks after it came out when people developed the hybrid, uh, you know, La Luna attacks and stuff like that. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Um, hope you guys, you know, like the video, like the attacks, and let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll be sure to check that out. More sneak peeks coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, have some more awesome stuff from the update to let you guys know about, let you know my thoughts on that. And I think that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.